licenciatura. He has like a, a degree oh. in international um, business, I mm. think. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he does YouTube. That's pretty cool. I mean, aren't you like getting ready to become a professional pilot? Yeah, but I'm not a pilot yet. I mean, I'm not a uh, commercial pilot yet. So once you hit like once you become a pilot, you're just gonna leave us, leave the channel forever. No, I would. And never I would... wear the garbage hat. <laughs> no. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Smoothie Farm playthrough. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Smoothie. And I'm Mrs. Smoothie. And today is the highest luck possible type of luck day. Unfortunately, I sent my pickaxe to be upgraded. There's also corn if you want to pick it up. Yeah, sure. Um, this is also the third time we're playing this day because of <laughs> crashes and other reasons. Yeah. So, okay. So first, our game crashed after we were done playing this episode. And so we have we had to do it again. And so we started again recording this when I started feeling an intense pain in my upper abdomen and it was kind of rough like I could not even talk because I was not in a good mood I was just having a lot of pain not having it uh, eventually we decided to go to the ER because the pain wouldn't go in the entirety of the night like I was in pain all night and turns out I have Gallbladder stones. Mm -hmm. And so that is so fun. Um, but I'm doing good now. I'm just having to eat less fat or whatever. So fun. Yeah. A great way to be celebrating Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, by the way, we're recording this um, on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to everyone. Yeah, that to celebrates us a mother. Every ideas. mother or who person who plays the role of a mother. Yeah. So happy Mother's Day to you, Mrs. Smoothie. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Smoothie made some yummy waffles for me this morning. They were yummy. They were yummy. <laughs> we're gonna have burgers later today that I'm also gonna make, and they will also be yummy. Yeah. If anyone would be interested, I'm happy to do a little sharing post, uh, sharing a picture of the. Smash burgers that we're gonna have. Well, plans for today. Um, you wanted to go to the mines. Let me give you my pickaxe. Well, I did want to so that I could probably just work on my like monster education goals. Yeah. So there's my pickaxe. Thank you. Um, and here I'm also gonna put a. Um, let's see, our corn, except for one, and a star fruit that need to be dropped off on your way there. Okay, what do you need me to do again? So there's corn and there's a star fruit that need to be dropped off at the community center on your way to the mines. Okay. They're in the fishing pond. Sorry, um, in the fishing bag, chest. Okay, is that the only thing that I need to take? Uh, that's the only thing that I am aware of. Okay. And I am going to work on uh, getting some foraging XP and also uh, kind of cleaning up the house a little bit, the the yard. Oh, I was wondering if maybe we should buy... Do we have our coop upgraded to big coop now? I can go check. I don't think that we have. Okay, so... If you'd like, I can do that. Yes, please. And I will go to the mines. The mines, the mines. For the big coop, I need wood and... Stone. I think it's 350 wood and 100 stone. So I watched a video the other day. I'm not sure why I watched it because I feel like I already knew the answer. Um, but it is officially faster to go the north way to Robin's house or the mines than going past uh, Joja, not Joja, the community center in the village. I don't know why I watched the video for it because I feel like I already knew that. But it, yeah, it's kind of obvious. It feels that way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm coming back to the farm because there's a quest about um, Lewis asking ah, for Georgia, Georgia Cola Colas. for a calzone that he is making. Awesome. I will 
also get that for him. Well, I will take the two Georgia Colas. And so just meet you... me at Robin's, because yeah. I'm headed um, that way. And also, it is Demetrius' birthday today. So I will be grabbing a strawberry for you to gift him. He will love us after he has this sweet, tasty strawberry. Okay, um, Lewis is not in his house. He should be at the fountain, I think. Okay. Oh. If not, worst case scenario, we'll just see him at the saloon later today because it's Friday. Oh yes, he is at the fountain. A present with optimal timing. Today is the anniversary of my birth. Thank you. What a crazy guy. Yeah. If you and Maru become friends, I'm sure she'll show you how to use that telescope out back. Thank you. Pretty exciting, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for it, Demetrius. You're kind of a space guy. I am kind of a space guy. I like a lot of things. I, I have a vague interest in many things, including space. Um, yeah, flight in space, or travel in space, and many other aspects of it. So, what was the... Fetch. What? I just gave him the the soda without getting the e quest. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, what was the corn for? Um, we have to give ten of it, I think. Or, there's if not, it's one in the... Um, in the, the Halloween bundle. The bulletin board on the Spirit's Eve bundle that already has one. Or the fall crops, maybe? And maybe it wasn't ten of them. I don't know. But it still showed up in my... Uh, yeah, I think the fall crops needs one. Oh. Well. <laughs> well, good food for the mines. If I ever mark. get to make it to the mines, because I've just been walking around. Gotta get that extra $75. Come here, Lewis. Man, we need to get those speed upgrades and get our coffee going. Yeah. Um, so how, how much coffee do we have currently? Um, I think we have over, over 100 coffee, but we don't have any uh, stuff to make kegs with yet. So part of my day today will be planting oak trees for an oak resin farm. Well, it's also that we not, do not know the recipe because none of us has like a high farming High enough farming, yet. yeah. So that's, that is part of it as well. And I finally made it to the mines. At seven o'clock. Yes. My mines day turned out to be a mines evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, I'm kind of an idiot because I didn't bring no sword. I just brought the wicked Chris because <laughs> I thought that would be a good idea. Well, and we don't have tree fertilizer yet either, do we? Um, let me see. I, no, I don't have a tree fertilizer, but I just got to level up in mining, I think, or combat, one of those. Nice, that is very nice. <laughs> that is very nice. Flipping bats, I hate them. <laughs> Oh, I got a glow ring. Nice. Do you already have a glow ring? You probably do, right? I think I do. And I... I have a small glow ring, which I'm going to upgrade to a big glow ring. <laughs> I guess another thing that we spoke about last time we recorded this, and the time before that we recorded this, um, <laughs> I released a video on my channel. Reviewing Rebel Moon, part two. <laughs> um, it's been a little while, um, at least a week since that video came out, um, but it is out, and we had a fun time uh, ripping it apart because it's not a super great movie. Uh, so if you want to watch our thoughts on Rebel Moon, part two, uh, check out my channel, Mr. Smoothie. I'll and... also leave the link in the description so that people can find it easily. Thank you. And uh, look forward to, there's no schedule right now because um, school and work are pretty busy for me. So but... that's something that we should probably mention too. Yeah. 
Um, Mr. Smithy is back at school. He is in school to become a professional pilot. Yes. Which is extremely exciting. However, um, flight time does take up quite some of his um, time. Yes. His schedule. Um, which means that we unfortunately are going to be have to be switching to just releasing an episode a week because um, an episode a week but longer episodes uh, maybe just like an entire week in one episode type of thing of this uh, gameplay specifically yes um, Mrs. Smoothie will still have her regular videos of like Tomb Raider and other shorts that she does for yeah in case you haven't checked out my Tomb Raider videos or the shorts, you should check them out. I mean, I know it's like, you're probably not a fan of Tomb Raider if you like Stardew Valley and vice versa, but you should give it a try because it's a fun game. It's actually like very retro and comfy for me to play it, except when I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, oh my gosh, just grab the key, Lara, no. Ah! But you should check those out, and I will continue to release videos as frequently as I'm able. Um, but because of how the schedule works and um, how Mr. Smooth is going to be flying constantly, we're probably just going to be turning into one longer episode a week every Tuesday. So that is the plan. We hope to be able to abide by that and keep our word. Yeah. Um, and I guess the other other thing that we talked about twice is uh, there weren't enough comments on the last episode to have me wear the trash hat. So I guess I just I can't wear the trash hat because not enough people commented. Yeah, so he's been kind of mean at this. Be a little, I'm sorry, a little crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> he's just been like, nope, nope, we didn't get enough comments, so we're not going to do it. And I'm just like, well, that's stupid. Um... So yeah, I'm not gonna try to force him, but it's very unlikely that we'll get the the living hat in this playthrough. <gasps> I passed out. We both did. While talking to you face to face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I gotta level up in mining, and so I'm gonna be going for miner, one or per vein, and I did get a level up in combat as well. Amazing. But if you want me to wear the trash hat or any other hat. Leave comments on this video or other videos, and if we get to 10 at any point well, on any video, well, we will count. Would you consider comments on this video to add up to the comments on that video? No, well, because then, like, you and See? your mom and your sister will all leave comments <laughs> on it, and we'll have, in three videos, you'll we'll have nine comments about it. So, unfortunately, I have to be strict. We have to abide by certain you rules. You have to be strict. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so... How rare is it for you to, like, have the opportunity to have two trash cans set and two people to use them? And you just let that go to waste. You just let that go to waste. I'm not letting it go to waste. Our viewers are letting it go to waste yeah, if they don't comment. Blame it on them. Blame it on them. Oh my God. <laughs> so if you want to see me wear the hat, leave comments. Okay. Look, look, look at who is it. Luke is neutral today. What is neutral today? Luck. There we go. <laughs> Not Luke. <laughs> and I was like, who's Luke? <laughs> look, I got Bill 485G to move me from my, the front step of my house to my bed. Thank you, <laughs> Harvey. Yeah, what a, what a nice guy. Good guy, Harvey. Charging you money to move you into your house. That's the Zuzu medical system for you, am I right? <laughs> um, I just left your pickaxe in my chest oh, again. Thank you. Oh no, our fences are decaying! Hello, Rowena. Who's Rowena? Robin. <laughs> oh, Robina. Okay, with a B. I heard Rowena like Rowena Ravenclaw. With a W. Uh, may have actually said that. Actually. Oh, you pet the cows? Are you also... You also water the... Okay. I guess you have everything under control. All the time. Always. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing today is doing some fishing. Nice. 
I have no particular fish that I need to catch for the community center, I think. And super cucumbers get on the... Oh, tilapia, I guess. Yeah, tilapia, it's like out early, so I should probably go and do that. Okay. Um, but I don't think that the super cucumbers come in town until like 5 p.m. Mm. So. Well, if you want to go get the tilapia and then come back for the super cucumbers, you're more than welcome to them. Well, they're all in the ocean, so I'm just going to go fish in the ocean. Also, if you still have your water in can, do you mind putting water in Chilaquil's bowl? I will certainly do that for you. Hey, Chilaquil. Oh, I don't have my watering can, but I can grab yours. Okay, you know where it is? Uh, in your chest. Boom. Dog watered. <laughs> Hotel Trivago. <laughs> and I'm going to spend the rest of the day cleaning up the yard. Okay, so you're going to clean the yard, huh? Yep. Oh, new dialogue. So Willie just said, So, you finally conquered the crimson fish. That fish has been taught in me for many years. He nearly nibbled through the wood under me, under my house. <laughs> under me house, I think it is. And Alexander is also at the beach. Oh, he said, Heard you got some kind of rare fish? I'm impressed. Your arms must be stronger than they look. Pinches? <laughs> Not bad. Wow. Why are you trying to say, Alex? Yeah. He's such a flirt. When my mom and sister like first met him, they were like, Oh, I'm gonna go for him. And then they got to make him a little better and have the dialogue of the shoes. And they're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a little smiley face, Bobber. <laughs> oh, so, just got a tilapia. Uh, do you want me to sell our red mushrooms? Yes, please. I will do that. So I'm gonna set up my machinery here. Yeah, of course. And I'm gonna smoke this puffer fish. Oh man. My fish and tackle worn out. Aw. And I bring didn't bring no backup. Do you have a backup? Do you want me to bring you one? Like, I know how to make it, so I usually just make them and go about it like that. But what do you need to make it? Uh, you can check and you can see if you can make it. Oh my goodness, my keyboard situation thingy. I'm almost certain that I can't make it. I need, um... What type of tackle do you use? Give me one second, I'm just fighting this fish. I think you might be, um, puffer fish, so give me one second. I don't have any tackle, so... I... that I can make. Um, if you're not doing anything, do you mind bringing the materials for me to do one? I certainly can. What do you need? I need one copper and ten sap. One copper, ten sap. Yep, yeah, give me just a minute. Okay, so regular puffer fish sells for three seventy five. Smoke puffer fish sells for seven fifty. I mean it's not a bad trade off, right? Like it should be a little bit more than double, right? No, it's just exactly double. Oh. Yeah. I mean as long as it's uh as long as it's more than the cost of the coal, I say yes, it's definitely worth it. <laughs> well, we haven't purchased any coal. I know, so even better. And I suppose specifically if the fish uncooked, it costs more than, costs more than the coal. That way you have, I don't know. Does this make sense? Does my math make sense? I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> Like, I guess if the smoked fish costs even a couple gold more than getting gold, coal does, it's technically worth it in the long run. Um, however, if you really want it to be efficient, you want to spend uh, no more than... Like, you want the fish to... Sorry, let me collect my thoughts. Anyway, what I was saying, you get... It's an even better value if the price of the fish unsmoked is already more or equal to the cost of coal because then you're getting a very good return on the cost of gold of coal i don't know why i keep saying gold sebastian don't be a bad influence on sam don't teach him to smoke especially when the kid's literally a kid he's like no let me skateboard mom mm -hmm. but that is an important 
rule for life. Don't interrupt kids while they're skateboarding. Yeah, who isn't? Yeah, well, th that's the rule. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just don't interrupt kids while they're skateboarding because, you know, skateboarding is good for them. It builds character. It teaches them to uh, do hard things and be proactive about challenges that they're facing. Do I like, really? Yeah, really. Okay. Really, really. And it's not limited to just skateboarding only, you know, like, if a kid wants to go rock climb, like, you should um, encourage it in a safe way. Okay, it's 8 p.m. and I have not caught one single super cucumber. I was literally going to just bait, make into bait my first one, but I have not caught one. That's rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. Another Hollywood. I wonder if it's because I'm fishing in the mystic stone of loneliness. Oh my goodness. I that was so weird. Did what? anyone else see that? There was like a possum or something around Marnie's house that like sneaked into a bush. A possum? Yeah. Was it the raccoon? It didn't look like a raccoon to me. I mean it might have been. I'm not sure what the raccoon looks like in this yet. Um but to me it looked like a possum. And it spooked me. I should have played dead. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. Okay, if at midnight I have not caught one single um, super cucumber, I'm gonna be very sad. I would be pretty sad for that too. Like, it's not because of weather, right? Because they're like any weather. I'm pretty sure. You didn't have any super cucumber bait already? No, I didn't have any bait. Because mm. I've been just smoking them for the profit, for the money. Mm. And I guess the reason why I'm doing this today is because of the same reason. <laughs> but I was willing to sacrifice a couple for bait. Yep, I got nothing. Nothing out of this exchange. I did get the tilapia that we need though. Nice. I'm gonna go home though and just donate it tomorrow because I don't want Harvey to be freaking billing me another 500g just for taking me home <laughs> yeah no that's that's wise i am also gonna try and get home uh in time to sleep tonight even though i think i gotta level up but we don't want to incur extra debts with the good doctor of the valley hey go to bed i'm on my way nice forging level six got the lightning rods yeah yeah. I wonder if our, if Arkan would like to have a farm with us. Does he play? Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Does he just speak Spanish? I mean, he knows English. Okay. He has like um, licenciatura. He has like a a degree oh. in international um, business. I mm. think. Wow. <laughs> and he does YouTube. That's pretty cool. I mean, are you like getting ready to become a professional pilot? Yeah, but I'm not a pilot yet. I mean, I'm not a uh, commercial pilot yet. So once you hit like, once you become a pilot, you're just gonna leave us, leave the channel forever. No, I would. And never I would... wore the garbage hat. <laughs> no, I would still play and do that. But like, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like he's at a level where he is um, able to like make all of his money that he needs from that or does he do other work I, outside as far as i'm concerned he does have another job and sells empanadas and he sells empanadas that's right okay i mean life can be pretty tough when you're raising a kid yeah that's that's true i got the lightning rod recipe and just in time for this rainstorm also do not forget how to make to learn how to make maggie rolls thank you i was totally gonna forget i know I love it. She knows me so well. Oh, and look, the jams are ready. So I have this, like, halibut row. Can I put it in there? Yes, please put all of the row that you have. Oh, and there's a coop upgrade. So we can get duckies. Is it done being upgraded? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ugh, these fences are terrible. No, this is disgusting. I'm going to fix them. Don't worry. And I'll even pet the chickens and get the eggs. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, then I'll go to Marnie and get ourselves some duckies. Man, there's moss growing in our trees. That like, a bad thing? I mean, no. I'm just... It's in most of them. 
Oh, she's not open yet. I guess I'll fish. Oh, look! The annual trap derby! Have I been completely missing it? Um, I think that the first time we filmed this, you did participate. Uh, but well, the second time, we didn't today. get that far in filming. That's right, you're right. I completely forgot about the trout derby. What was I gonna buy? Oh, that's right. I was gonna purchase duckies! How do you want to name them? Um, well, like, duck isn't often used in traditional um, Mexican cuisine, is it? Not really. Pozole. I mean, you could probably make a half decent pozole with duck. Yeah, that sounds kind of nasty, actually. And. We just mentioned empanada, so. We did just mention empanadas. Empanada. Those do sound empanada. like. Empanada. <laughs> Those sound like um, female names, but it's fine. <laughs> Well, there, there should be female ducks, though, yeah, because they lay eggs. eggs. Yeah, if they're laying eggs. Yeah, so they're female ducks. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. His, like, fish got away. That, that is a terrible tragedy. And someone just said, felt a nibble. What? <laughs> he said, felt a nibble. Oh, a nibble. <laughs> so it does say, quien is nibble? Wow, I didn't know you could catch the dorado on a on a rainy day. Mm. That fish always eludes me. It's always like the last fish I'm grabbing, even after like octopus and legends and whatnot. What about the one that you have to catch in the waterfall? What's that one called? I just got a second dorado. Um, I don't know, Toby. Toby. <laughs> I don't know. Pique! Did you make your lightning rods? I made a few. I'm working on some more now. Just waiting on the... Oh, that guy got one! I was just waiting on some iron bars from the... ovens. Okay, so I've caught two rainbow trouts, but have not got one ticket. Oof. So, in case you're watching this uh, festival for the first time, the annual trout derby, it's a couple of days that take place on the 20th and the 21st of spring where you basically just need to catch as many rainbow trouts as you possibly can. You're competing against these other guys, but it's not necessarily a competition because what you have to do is get the trouts and they may have a little ticket attached to them when you catch them. And those tickets that you get, you can catch them into prices with this um, bearded weird guy that kind of looks like the guy from uh, Jaws. <laughs> and my fish and tackle just worn out again! Do you need another one? Uh, it's fine. I'm just fishing in the river. It's not like I'm going to try to catch super cucumbers today. Okay. I want to at least get one prize so I can showcase that to our loving viewership. Oh, I'm sorry. The guy keeps losing those. It's the second time his fish gets away. That is rough, buddy. And it's like my fifth bike, by the way. Like, what the heck is going on? I think I asked last time, but is it possible to get hit by lightning? Um, I have no idea. I know the crops can, and I know that the machines outside of the farm can as well. What happens if a machine gets hit by lightning? Does it, like, I automatically it... complete? Mm, <laughs> that would be nice. No, I think it just, like, pops off the ground. Like, when you hold something and you have your inventory full, it uh... just, like, pops out, but it doesn't get lost, you know? Gotcha. So I made eight. I have four more iron bars that just finished. Do you want me to make another four? Sure. Okay. You should put them on top of some of the bluegrass that the cows, the cows. or the yeah, yeah, or the chickens and duckies are, just because. What was I saying? Just because that way it helps it not to like if it spreads it. Oh, finally I got one tag. Okay, it's a called a golden tag, and if I go here, I can get a reward. I got a tent kit, which should be coming handy, right? Yeah, I'm sure that we'll have use for it at some point. Honestly, the only thing I can think about that would be good for the tent is to like, like slip um, right in front of the skull cavern to start your day like right away. But that can also just be sold with being super fast and a desert totem, right? 
I mean, yeah, but... Like, especially for multiplayer, it would probably be nice to sleep there overnight. Because then you just start right away, you know? By the way, you know what I've been thinking about? If anyone is interested in watching us do a little bit of, like, challenges in Stardew Valley, I think we can make that work because it wouldn't take as long to record. And it would take longer to edit, but the it would be interesting to see us, like, do some random challenges, like... Oh, how far down in Skull Cavern can Mr. Smoothie and Mrs. Smoothie get? Of mm -hmm. course, we would like try to buff ourselves up as much as we can with whatever we can. Mm -hmm. um, or even competitions between the two of us, like who can get farthest in Skull Caverns, and we would play solo, you know? Yeah. Or we can also just do something like, oh, speedrun in something like, how fast can each of us get like mayo and drink it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how fast can each of how fast can one of us get married? You know, mm -hmm. and just speed run those type of things. If you would be interested in watching something like that, just let us know. Also, let us know what challenges you would like to see, and we'll be more than happy to do that because I think that sounds pretty fun and interesting. Oh yeah. Well, I've fished all night and all day here in the rain, trying to catch as many rainbow <laughs> trout rainbow trout as I can. And I have caught quite some. Actually, I just got another one. But no golden tags. Do you need to go talk to the guy? Maybe he's got to see them and let you know. No, no, it's just get your worst explanation or leave. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave. <sighs> because I'm tired of fishing now. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. You know what that's from? Of course I do. Yeah? Of course, it's from holes. It is from holes. And you know what Grandpa would say? That's too damn bad. You're dang right. You're gonna oh, keep look. fishing. Some of them are pulsing, meaning there's some batteries cooking there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, the rainbow trail actually sells for a good 484. Do you want me to smoke any of these fish? I mean, I would smoke them if, if they're... A good amount? I'll go ahead and smoke them. Oh man, I should have taken my, like, bait maker. <laughs> that would have been helpful, I bet. Well, I did get some. I did get plenty. I got four. I got well, seven. Well, make some bait today, and then, because the, they're going to be there tomorrow, right? I think that it or ends... Or was that the last day? I think it ends today. Leah is in the market for ripe wheat. Oh, well, we've got those, uh, and... wheat growing. And yay. Uh, yay. Yes! Today is the last day of the Trout Derby. Oh. So what are the next upgrades that you want to get? Um, I mean, Gold Pickaxe would be nice. Uh, uh, how much does that cost? I think 10,000 at least. Are you sure? No, sorry, a hun Yeah, 10,000 I think. Uh, yes, it costs 10,000, so we can afford it. We just need five bars. And we have those, I'm sure. You can do that next episode. Da -da -da. And I would love to upgrade my regular eggs to gold. That would be very nice. You know what we should be worried about, though? We what? should be making money to unlock the desert. We should be. How much money do we need for that? Uh, a lot of money. Come on, come on, come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. You should go to bed. You yeah. should go to bed. I can make it. Doggy, no! <laughs> Chilaquil, come on! <laughs> I haven't even sold the gold quality rainbow trout smoked. I mm. think you should totally, totally um, upgrade your pickaxe to gold. Yeah. Yeah, because we need to get ready for. For skull caverns, skull yeah. Skull cavern dives, yes. I do think that we're gonna be leaving this episode right here. Oh my goodness, it's raining again! That's so awesome! I wonder we're gonna be leaving this episode right here. So that sorry, I just wanna see how much will they sell for. 972. That's pretty good. It's like pretty close to the um what is it, the super cucumbers too. We're making like almost four thousand G from this fishes. Just those four? Mm-hmm. Nice. Anyway, I think we're going to be leaving the episode in here just so that we can start the next one um, 
At the start of a week. At the start of a week, and we can play the whole week. So it's going to be longer episodes, but unfortunately, we're going to be doing them less often. Um, just trying to work things out. And if you'd be interested in us doing some challenges, we'll be more than happy to do that whenever we have time. Because oh, yeah. it's something that doesn't take as long to record and set up with Mr. Smoothie. And since it's me doing all the editing, I should be having plenty of time to do that. So... Also, just uh, leave a comment of whatever you want to tell us because we do read every single comment that you guys leave. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Until, and until then, then, happy farming. <laughs> what was that? You didn't... The, the... Oh, well, that's like the the whistling that happens with it. Did that I, work? No, I just click on Great View Farm. Okay, I was, I was so worried that it corrupted somehow. Somehow it corrupted. Mm -hmm. Somehow corruption returned. <laughs>